Hello everyone. This is part two of my dog accessory series and today I'm going to be making a Hello Kitty dog collar. This is another pretty easy project and another great way to personalize your dog accessories. I am once again using a cotton fabric so make sure you pre-wash your fabric to accommodate for any shrinking. If your collar calculates under 40 inches in length you can cut out your strip widthwise, but if you have a larger dog, then you're going to need to cut the yardage lengthwise. Just because most cotton fabrics only come in 42 to 45 inches in width. I will leave a link to where I've got all my hardware down below, as well as my cotton webbing. To calculate the strip of fabric we're cutting out for the collar, you're going to need to measure your dog's neck where the collar will sit, and you're going to add 11 inches for the seam allowances. So for example, my corgi's neck measures 20 inches around and I'm gonna add 11 inches to that. So I will be cutting out a 31 inch strip. She is a medium sized dog. So I'm gonna do a one inch width strap, which means the strip will be 3.75 inches wide. The hardware and the cotton webbing size that you'll need will correlate with the size of the dog strap measurement. So since my strap is going to be a one inch for a medium dog, I will need one inch hardware and one inch wide cotton webbing. Starting off, we're cutting out our strip. So mine will be the 31 inches by 3.75 inches. And for the cotton webbing, I'm gonna cut the same size piece minus one inch. So I will be cutting out a 30 inch piece. Take your strip of fabric and we're gonna fold up one side half an inch and iron this down all the way across. Then going to the other side, I'm gonna line up my piece of cotton webbing, making sure to leave a half inch of fabric on each side. I'm gonna pin this together and I'm gonna sew this down with a 1 4th inch seam allowance. I'm gonna fold the cotton webbing side over and I'm gonna iron this down in place. And then taking the other side, I'm gonna fold that over, making sure that the edges line up. And I will iron this in place as well. Going to the end, I'm gonna reopen up my folds and I'm gonna fold in that edge half an inch, making sure it's nicely lined up and I will iron this down and then I can refold up the end. So it should lay nice and neat and look like you have a finished edge. I'm pinning this in place and then I'm gonna top stitch both sides down at a 1 8 inch seam allowance all the way across. Now that our strap is complete, I'm going to add the hardware. I'm gonna start with my slider. With right side face up, I'm gonna go through one end and then back down through the other. And I'm gonna kinda of place this in a little bit. Then opening up the buckle, I'm gonna take the claw part and I'm gonna slide this on as well with the claws face down and the right side of your strap face up. So I'm gonna go through the top opening first and then back through the bottom opening. Once that's on, give yourself a little space to work with and then you're gonna go back through the slider starting with the side that you came through last and then back around to the first side you went through. Hold this part of the strap together and you wanna make sure it's pulled out about two and a half inches. And then I'm gonna pin these two together to hold them in place. And then going to the other side with right side face up, you're gonna add your D-ring with the curve on top. And then we're gonna add the other end of your buckle, making sure that the opening is faced up. 
and you're going to slide that on and fold that end of the strap back so wrong sides are faced together about two and a half inches as well. Pin this in place and we're going to sew these down. First you're going to sew straight up and down as close to the buckle end as you can and then we're going to do a square and an X on the edge on the other side of the D-ring with the D-ring in the middle of both stitches. And we're also going to do a square and X on the other end as well. For the square and X that we're going to sew on, you're going to start going in a straight line across your strap and I'm just going to repeat this about three or four times and then I'm going to change direction and do the same thing all the way around till I have a square. Once my square is made, then I'm going to change the direction diagonally across the square and there I will create my X. Going back and forth three or four times to make sure the stitches are solid and secure. Make sure your sewing machine is not too light and you have a brand new needle, especially one that's for thicker fabrics is going to help a lot as well. So this is what you should have after stitching and then just go ahead and adjust your collar so that it'll fit your dog's neck and your collar is complete. This is a nice thick and sturdy collar and completely personalized to your dog. But I hope you like this tutorial and stay tuned for the dog harness in part three. If you have not already seen my part one for the dog leash, I will leave that link down below. I hope to see you all in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.